my name is Lawrence Manja, Manja has called me to connect. Yeah. And I would like to know, this can help us as well as content creators. Recently we saw your channel got hacked. How did it get hacked and how did you recover the channel? Yes, and also, how do you guys deal with people using your content without your consent? Good question. Great question. My channel got hacked. And a lot of people were saying that I sold the channel, mm. which was crazy because the worth of the channel, I don't think anyone can buy it. But what really happened, if you ask me, I had no idea. I was just there and I saw that I've been locked out from my account. But I was so lucky because I have been contact with uh, YouTube. So the first thing that I did was I reached out to YouTube and said, I, don't, I, I can't log in my account right now. So what they did was like, oh my goodness, even when they check, because your videos that you're creating, right, YouTube has the back, the backlog, some things that you can't see, they see. So they checked and they were like, everything is okay. So I should try and log in again. I tried logging in again, it didn't work. And then YouTube called and said, oh my goodness, the channel is in trouble. So what they did was they protected the videos behind the scene. That's why even when I got my channel back, my videos were not deleted. So they protected the videos, they disabled my Gmail account. So the people really hacked, they have the channel. So I couldn't have access to my own channel. This can happen to each and every one of us in here. You have no control over it. I'm not the first person that my channel has been hacked. I've seen so many big creators that uh, their channels have been hacked. But one thing that I, I would say that even when they hack your channel, you will get it back because YouTube have system in place that help content creators to uh, regain their channels. Uh, I hope I've answered the question. Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, How do you deal with people using your content without your consent? Personally, I have no problem about people using my content. If you check my YouTube videos, you see it's under common creative. Check. We, we have a, a system where we call the, the standard something. Yeah. Standard license. Yeah, standard license and common creative where people can reuse your content. For me, the goal for being on YouTube is not about being selfish, it's not about making money, it's all about touching life. So if you take my content and you want to use it in the right way, I don't have any problem with that. I've never striked any channel for using my content. I just see a video that I've uploaded, people pick it up and upload on their own channel. Without any, I, see, what am I, is just a free guy. I don't care how people use my content. All I want to know is that the message is spreading. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah. How does Miss Trudy handle it? How people take in your content. Oh, same, same, same. I never strike anyone. It's okay. Anyone can use my content. Okay. We hope you're not falling here to steal your content. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, thanks so much. Um, my name is Girls, and um, my channel name is Girls Fitness. Um, I do have and fitness related content. So, um, what do my mind? I travel with them visitors from Western Uganda to come and be with you as such. Uh, I can have a chat with you. So, the last time I checked. You have created a second channel about fitness, and I was so excited. <laughs> when I was like, oh, I'm looking for this guy, you know? Um, all of a sudden, um, after getting like one K subscribers, I went for those one hundred videos, and I was not seeing any. So I was like, what happened? What? It's my editor, What's yeah? Wrong? It's so still around. We still it in France because as much as we travel a lot, um, sometimes we don't have time for ourselves. We really need to sit down and make sure that we are working out and take care of the body. So when I saw that channel, I was like, come on, Demaya, this one to be waiting for. So we still have chances of you know, revive in your channel or like a fitness trainer uh, or a fitness coach. Make sure that while you're creating your content, but you also live the a healthy life. Thank you so much. I, I wish my editor was here. Steven is here. Yeah. So, Steven here. So, I created that channel just to keep healthy, to be fit. And at the end of the day, also connect with um, fitness 
um, coaches like yourself, fitness uh, YouTubers like yourself across the continent. But things happen. <laughs> <laughs> like things happen. Fufu happen, eh? <laughs> come, come, come. <laughs> so I've been traveling with this guy, and we're supposed to work out together. Do you see your brother? Wait, he's not, he's my brother, man. Eh? <laughs> we're supposed to work out together, eh? <laughs> Yesterday we were supposed to do bungee jumping together and I found out that his weight has overshadowed mine. <laughs> he's, he's my only motivation because he's the guy that when I see him working out, I also want to work out. We're actually the two guys behind that channel. Supposedly just to travel and exercise together. As soon as he stopped, I also quit. <laughs> so please, if you have anything, tell him to start today. He can even start training with you if you want to revive the channel. I'm open. Thank you. It can be a collaboration with Are you ready to exercise? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. That's how I feel. Let's go. What YouTube taught me is what I'm going to teach you guys. So, first of all, you need to have two step verification. Connect your YouTube to your phone and your another email address. Two, there is this device that I never knew to exist until my channel got hacked. It's called Google Security Key. You can type it out. Google Security Key. You have to buy it. It's from Google. Buy it, it's fingerprint, and use it. Your channel will be safe. This is uh, what YouTube taught me. I just bought my own. So you all can, it's um, $25. You can check online and buy it. Amazon, it's gonna be there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to join us. My name is Caroline Brigitte, and me and a group of young people are starting to use YouTube, but we would love to invite you to come and be part of us. Okay, this is the only chance that I've got, and I'm so happy that you are here for four days. So we have a YouTuber space, and on this space, a number of people use it. Some are dancers, poets, singers, and so much more. So we would love you to come, and maybe you feature on one of our Thank you. Uh, where is, is it in Kampala? Yes, we're here. Okay. But if you want us to meet you in Kampala, still we can. Um, I, I don't know. Where is that? Wait. It's in Kampala. So, um, it's, it's just in the suburbs of Kampala. It's in Kampala. How many minutes? Seven. Everywhere is fine, but uh, <laughs> that could be a lot of times. Maybe if you can talk to Dr. Daniel, we'll find time and work it out. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. 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 
this is what I'm supposed to be doing. But also the other thing you know, is it possible to actually have a full-time job and also succeed uh, when it comes to YouTube? I, I think that is one thing that I struggle with. I, when um, I um, had the number of texts, they could quit their full-time job. Uh, if you want to succeed, we need to. I wanted to, to, to answer your question, but I think I need to. Um, I'm not going to advise you to quit your full-time job if YouTube is not making money. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. If YouTube makes you money, you have all the right to quit your job and focus on YouTube. Because I don't know which job that is worth more than having a YouTube platform. Being an engineer, or being a doctor, mention, right? But I'm not gonna advise you to quit your job and then, I mean, focus on YouTube. You can only focus on YouTube when you know that, okay, at least I'm making something which will sustain me in a month. Then you put all the energy that you put at the nine to five on your YouTube channel, and believe me, you'll see more growth and more money on the platform. Um, that's that's why I picked the right before just to answer that question. Um, how to find your niche? That's a very tough question. You see, when you start a YouTube channel, you might be creating one particular content, but it doesn't work for you. If something is not working for you, why are you still doing it? You need to try and experiment so many things to see which one works best for you. I started as a comedian, yes. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. I, I used to crowd jokes, but I was not funny. Yeah. And I realized that it was not working for me. My channel was not growing. What did I do next? I started talking about being an African living in China. And that's when my channel started growing. I left China, came to Africa, and I started Africa to the world, traveling different African countries, making videos. Yes, the videos were getting views, people were getting to know me, but believe me, the best niche I've ever had was interviewing entrepreneurs. And I got this niche in 2020, during COVID, when I couldn't travel. So I was like, what am I gonna do different this time around? Why did I focus on entrepreneurship? One, it had more impact than my previous content. Two, my channel was growing in a way that I've never seen before. When I started my entrepreneurship series, I had 300,000 subscribers. By December, I started in May. By December, I had 600,000 following me. That's a double of my subscribers in less than six months. Now, apart from getting the subscribers, each video of every entrepreneurship series don't give you less than three to four thousand dollars per video. You know why? Because YouTube is not about views. I always tell people, get it right. It's not about views, it's about where are the people watching you from and the kind of content that you create. You can't compare a million comedy channel to a million entrepreneurship channel. Because a comedy channel has, cannot get closer. The gap is huge. Not because of the views, but because of the value of the people that watches the channel. So that's what I'm telling you. Finding your niche, I cannot come and tell you, do this, do that, do that. But experiment. If you're doing makeup, you think it's not working for you, why you still doing makeup? At least there are a lot of makeup videos online. I'm not saying, but try new things. See, the African YouTube space is boring. Why is it so boring? Because African YouTubers have decided not to be creative. And when you talk about it, people are saying that, oh, you're trying to hate on your fellow content creators. No. There are so many things that when I walk around, I see as content, but no one is talking about it. I see that now, the village content is becoming popular now. I said it in Ghana three years ago. Why are you guys not showing our village lifestyle? Now, I've seen a lot of people 
are doing village content. The food we eat can be content on its own. Have you just woke up one day and said like, okay, you're eating matoke, today you're gonna eat. But I think the mistakes that most of you make, you think the whole world is just like your country, so we know everything. I think Trudy said, she didn't know like uh, the safari <laughs> and people are mad. <laughs> with a gorilla. And then my friends from Rwanda were like, oh, you're back in Rwanda, ah. I'm like, no, I'm in Uganda. The first thing that she said, are you sure you're in, in that's, uh, Uganda have uh, gorillas? She was surprised. This is your neighbor. So it's your duty. Just an interruption, interruption. Thank you. Actually, Uganda has almost a half percent of the total population of the mountain gorillas. Why are you not telling us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you are telling me. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, this is the problem that we have as African content creators. There's so many things. Pick, go, go out there. Don't just be in your room and you think, oh, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Please, and I, I also want to ask, why, why are you creating one type of video? Just because maybe you watch the Shruti, doesn't mean that you have to be video, doing the same video as the Shruti. Yeah, she inspires you to go out there and do something different, something unique that a lot of people are interested in. So find your niche, the niche is out there, but it's up to you to go find it. I hope I answered that question right. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Oh. You wanna, so, wanna I was, I so unlike Maya, for me I have a, I can't say about my niche. I'm still struggling, honestly. I can't say there's this one content that is my niche. And I tell Maya all the time, I'm still struggling to find myself on YouTube, honestly. I, have, I don't feel like I found myself. That's why I try different things on the channel. I'm doing family content, I'm doing different things. But it's okay because life is a journey and uh, you don't get it at the same time. So every day I'm just doing my best, trying to be consistent. So yeah, that's, that's it.